do you think Puffy cared if Biggie got killed knowing he was going to leave Bad Boy? Because you made a comment before, my man, and you said that you believed that Biggie was going to leave Bad Boy. And you also made a comment before, and you said that Puffy made a comment saying that he didn't care if Biggie or Tupac got killed. So do you think Puffy cared if Biggie got killed to L.A. since he knew he was going to leave Bad Boy? Well, I think that nobody wants anybody to get killed, per se. I, I don't think unless you, he's an enemy or something like that. But he knew Big was leaving the label. He said that in Hip Hop Revolution. Is it Hip Hop Evolution or Hip Hop Revolution, something like that? He said that this nigga went and got his own deal, his own. Look, how, look at the balls he had. He went and got his own record label, his own deal. He didn't even bring the shit to Bad Boy. The nerve of him. He tried to laugh and play it off, but that's some serious shit. Because all the money you spent to make this thug life, partying, bill sh partying bullshit, de uh, 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 partying bullshit artists. You know what I'm saying? That's the type of music Big was doing. Hardcore street type of shit. You made them into the Sochi Big Papa type dude. You understand what I'm saying? You made him into that dude that, yo, the women, no matter how he looked, how big he was, they loved him. All that came from Arista money. All that came from what Arista did you understand? Under the bad boy umbrella. Now he's taking that to a whole nother label. A whole nother company that gave him 60 or $62 million to work with. And he gonna have five or six orders that he gonna do. So who gonna take that hit? Who gonna take the blame for that? Huh? Big ain't gonna take the blame. Puff gotta take the blame. We spent all this money. But he going making deals elsewhere? And not under our um umbrella? Like I told you, Lil' Kim, five million out the gate. Lil C, Certified Gold, Junior Mafia, I think Certified Gold. Russell Simmons, yo. Um, tell me the story about what happened at Russell Simmons' house. Bruh, I'm saving that one for my book. Can I say that one for my book, man? I, 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 okay, bruh. It was the night of Heavy D birthday party. Bruh. And we... Uh, was asked, me and my man Slick was asked to go to Russell Simmons house to pick up some credit cards because we were at the California club. I actually have pictures of that night at the party at the California club. And they wouldn't let them open the doors to the public until the bar guarantee was there. So Tim dog from the, uh, what he had, the uh, uh, boys, the, uh, the Lost Boys. He was the manager and the, the producer of the Lost Boys. He told me, uh, first Jessica told me, but I wasn't working for Jessica. So she had Tim call me and Tim told me to go over to Russell Simmons' house. I really didn't know who the hell Russell Simmons was. I knew of his stature that he was the president CEO of Def Jam, but I didn't know he was, I never saw him personally. You understand? I knew Ron DMC, Ron, Ron was his brother and everything like that, but I never seen him personally. And this is back in the like early nineties, 89, 90, something like that. Could be 89, 90, something like that. But it was Heavy D's birthday party. Go over to Tower Records, and it had a penthouse. So we go on the side of Tower Records, ring the bell, Russell Simmons come down, and he don't have no shirt on or nothing, and he has a towel around his shoulder, on the shoulder, on the shoulder. 
But we didn't know it was Russell Simmons. So I said, uh, I'm here to get some credit cards from Russell Simmons for Jessica and Tim. And he said, yeah, come go with me. So he takes us through the house. When you first come through the house, you see some spiral steps up there that goes to what appears to be a kitchen. It's a living room loft that goes that way to the left. You go straight back and there's bathrooms, rooms, rooms. And we go to this other room way in the back and it's this big ass room. And he said, yo, Russell's in there. So me and my man goes in the room. My man Slick goes in the room. And um, it's this dude on the phone. But He had dread, so I didn't know if it was, a, it was dark. I didn't know it was a dude or a girl or whatever like that. But it was light enough that you could see that they had satin sheets and he had some leopard bikini drawers on. So, panty looking drawers on. So then, me and my man just standing up there. And we looked at each other, like, yo, and my man was like straight gangster. He's like, yo, what, yo, Gene, what kind of shit is this? I said, nigga, I don't even know. And so the motherfucker put the, the dude put the phone down and he said, uh, in a woman like voice, I'm a, for all to be, for all to be politically correct, correct. I ain't going to say in a gay like voice. I ain't going to say in a bitch like voice. I ain't going to say in a homo like voice. I wouldn't say that. I'm going to say in a woman's like voice, he said, <laughs> I don't even want to say how he said it, but he said, who are y'all? What y'all doing? Some, you know, in a high pitched voice. And then my man pulls out the 357, right? And the motherfucker just screamed, Russell, Russell, Russell grabbed the sheets and all this stuff, Russell, Russell. The dude who now, he got a shirt on, he comes in there, he said, he started laughing and shit, he said, yo, yo, y'all, I'm Russell Simmons, come on. I was like, yo, this is some crazy shit. Now we come out, it's a bunch of dudes with the same type of voice this dude came, had, talking about, I don't believe y'all, I don't believe y'all don't know who Russell Simmons was. I don't believe, he rich, he rich. Y'all could take those credit cards and buy everything. Russell Simmons is rich. I, I can't believe y'all don't know who he was. And I was like, you, this is your show. But said a little something, got the credit cards, left, went back to the California club. And that's when um, it was that incident that I have in my book that you won't get that one with Christopher Williams and Halle Berry. Yep. That was the story about Russell Simmons.